Hey friends, we've got a lot to get to today. Last week I went on a cruise, came back, we had family in town, did Thanksgiving, did the whole nine yards. And being gone a week and having distractions, the house is suffering. I haven't done laundry in probably two weeks. Steven did do some of the laundry, but you know, nobody does it like mom. Anyway, we are going to be playing catch up today, seeing what all we can get to, seeing if we can just give like five, 10 minute resets in each room to kind of catch our breath. Cause right now, not gonna lie, it's overwhelming. I get a lot of questions though about, you know, what color lipstick I'm wearing. I've had several requests for a makeup routine. So we are gonna blow through one before we get started on the cleaning process. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking cause we gotta get down to the cleaning. So if you see something you want to save, just pause the video and screenshot or leave me a comment in the description box and I will uh, type out what it is that I use. Or better yet, maybe I'll just go ahead and put it in the description box for you all. How about that? If you are not interested in this makeup portion of the video, you can go ahead and fast forward to 3 minutes and 21 seconds and skip over all this. I just really wanted to do this and answer some frequently asked questions. I also was excited to share because you know when you find a good product, you just want to let all your girlfriends know. So we're just going to just take the next couple of minutes to do that real quick. Everything I'm using today is drugstore brand or found on the drugstore side of Ulta, like this Morphe palette. I don't know if they carry this exact palette anymore, but it's the Silent Nights. I love palettes that have a wide variety of neutral colors. This one, um, if you notice, has different color groups. So like golds, pinks, grays, blues. And then they have shimmers and light and dark and all that. That is my jam. So this was the perfect palette for me. It goes with me everywhere. I will use this palette up and then when it runs out, I'll try and find another one. Tarte, okay, so that's the one prestige, I guess, brand that's considered. But I got this free in like a mystery box or something or free because I spent so much money. So that's the only reason why I have it. But I really do like Tarte products. I just don't like spending the money on them. And then this is my Holy Grail Mascara Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It doesn't smudge, it lasts all day, and just really gives my lashes a full volumist look. And then last but not least, my CoverGirl Colorstay lipstick. I have this in multiple shades. This one is shade 598, which is a good neutral. I'll list some other shades I have down in the description box. That's it. That's all we got. I'm gonna go do something with this hair and We'll get to cleaning. You know, when you go on that cruise and you eat that cruise food, and then you come home and it's Thanksgiving, oh, it's time to reset my stuff. <laughs> so before I tackle anything, I need to come up with a healthy meal plan. One of the favorite tools that I'm enjoying right now is eMeals. This is not sponsored. I pay for this service out of my own pocket. I equate it to like, you know, Green Chef or, you know, one of those box kits. It has the entree and the sides all planned out for you, except you get your groceries from Walmart. It's like a hybrid almost. You select which meals you want, and then it generates the shopping list for you and submits it over to your grocery pickup of choice. If I have a referral link for emails, I'll put it in the description box. This would be just like a referral link that you guys would get if you joined the service and shared with your friends. Like I said, it's not sponsored. I don't even know if they offer a referral link. I'm just sharing with you what I've been enjoying. Okay, so I've got our meals picked out. This is what we're doing. Nothing revolutionary, but it's gonna get us back on track, eating at home, saving those dollar dollar bills for Christmas. And we got that checked off. I've already submitted my grocery order and... Well, looky here, we have caught a Shannon in her natural habitat. 
becoming distracted oh, and losing focusing. her train of thought. No, why are you doing that? Okay, I got distracted. I couldn't tell if the camera was focusing or not. Anyway, I lost my train of thought, so we're just gonna move on to the next thing. Y'all, this laundry pile is bigger than I am. <laughs> All right, I gotta assess the situation. As far as I know, some of the stuff is clean. The dreaded sniff test. Clean. Whew. Okay, which is good because I have a party tonight and I want to wear that. All right. Again, that smells clean. This was folded. Oh no, this is dirty. It's got dirt. It smells clean, but it's dirty. Okay. No! I have no idea how long that has been sitting in here. It smells fine though, so we're gonna let it ride. Thankfully, the dryer was empty, so that's good. It's because all the clothes are chunked in the living room waiting to be folded. I will get my family's help with that later because there's gonna be a lot more laundry to fold. Now we're just gonna chip away at it. Okay, for the rest of the house, I'm thinking I'm going to spend 10 minutes, I don't know, in each little area. It's not terribly bad, but I think just a quick 10 minutes of decluttering just make each space less overwhelming. It'll help propel me forward. It gives me a fun little challenge. I know I'm just gonna be in each space for 10 minutes. It feels very doable. Sometimes I look at everything that needs to be done and my mind is just like, overload, overload. I shut down, go lay down in bed and watch trash TV. We're gonna try and prevent that from happening today. So the rooms I'm talking about are the entryway, the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. So 40 minutes total. I think it'll go by pretty quick. And just to add a little element of fun, I'm gonna put 10 minutes up on the clock and I'm not gonna cut. So this is gonna be real time, all right? So I had grand plans to have a 10 minute clicker down in the bottom of the screen, counting down and doing this. And I also had plans of not cutting, but I ended up cutting because I kept walking out of the frame for like 12 seconds at a time and yeah y'all don't want to see just an empty room being filmed I have a feeling so um I did end up cutting and I did not end up putting a 10 minute <laughs> ticker on the clock I had a five minute ticker that I've made in the past but I for the life of me could not figure out how to make a 10 minute clicker so I apologize for that do y'all remember the secret slob I don't think she's on YouTube anymore I know she took a hiatus. She may have come back, and I'm just not getting the, her on my recommended page. But I used to follow her, and she had a brilliant method, the 5x5, five five, where she chose five spaces and worked in them for five minutes. This is kind of what I have adapted this to. And instead of doing five spaces for five minutes, I just chose the four spaces that were just screaming for attention at me and just worked in them for 10 minutes. Five minutes is super fast. 10 minutes is super fast too, but I feel like you can make a big difference in 10 minutes. When I did the five by five video, I was super rushed. 
And it wore me out because I was racing. Like you see me this time sped up. I feel like that's what I was doing in real life. I would I was just working at 4x speed the whole time. So don't know if I would recommend that, especially if you're like me and struggle physically. <laughs> I felt like with a 10 minute time restraint, I could work at a slower pace, but still get a good impact and not like burn myself out cleaning. Okay. All right, seven seconds left. Noise, next space. Out of all the spaces, this one probably looked like the easiest, but I'm telling you, it was the hardest. There was so much trash embedded into my rug and I needed to dust, I needed to wipe down the tables, I needed to fold, I needed to declutter that bookshelf. It had like a lot of little tiny tasks to try and squeeze into 10 minutes. Update on this bookshelf. At the beginning of the school year, we revamped this. This is our homeschool corner where all of our curriculum is. And I got these new black bins. And I must say, I am really enjoying them. I did end up going it back and labeling them. And this just does a great job hiding the cup, the like the book clutter, and keeping things organized, keeping each kid's curriculum organized, and not getting mixed in together. The bins themselves are holding up nicely. I haven't had any issue with them collapsing or getting bent up. So I'm hoping maybe I can get one or two years out of them because they are made of cardboard. So I'm keeping my ex expectations realistic i have to tell y'all something this coffee table reminded me of something that happened to me recently you know how i just got done telling you that i went on a cruise well two weeks before i left on that cruise i lost my wallet i had been out shopping with eric at five below or next two days later because i hadn't gone anywhere that needed my wallet it was gone right I thought I had dropped it in the parking lot of Five Below. I called all the stores around seeing if anybody turned in a wallet. It was gone. And because it had been two days, I looked to see if there was any fraudulent charges or anything. And there was nothing. Nobody had tried to spend anything. Um, but there was um, a significant amount of cash in there. And I thought, well, they probably just took that and tossed the wallet. You know, they made off with something. So anyways, I'm going on this cruise thinking, I don't have my ID, I don't have credit cards. I'm panicking, right? And I'm certain this wallet is gone. I tear my house looking for it. I'm looking under the couches, under the beds. It had gotten so bad, I was going through people's dresser drawers to see if my wallet accidentally somehow got put away with the laundry. I don't know. Anyway, I say this prayer, Lord, please, my wallet is gone, gone, but please, you are the most merciful <laughs> and powerful. You can make things reappear. Please make my wallet reappear. The next day, Eric calls out from the living room, Mom, I found your wallet. Apparently, it was hidden underneath this coffee table that you see stands well above the carpet. Now, let me remind you, I turned my house upside down. So either that wallet, bright blue, royal blue wallet, was hidden in plain sight, or the Lord miraculously made that thing appear. I am not even kidding you. So the moral of today's video is if you have something lost, lost, you pray to God and you believe he will deliver. Okay, that took slightly longer than 10 minutes, just by, it was probably more like 12, but I'm pretty happy with that. I have a feeling that first load is about to be done drying. I wanna clean off this island. Anytime I have really large laundry days, I just spread out on this island and take care of business. I make this my folding station. The whole family gets involved. I fold, they put away, well actually the girls fold their own clothes. I just separate their clothes and we just knock out that laundry. But I wanna go ahead and get this cleaned off, dishes put away so I have a clean workspace. So next 10 minutes will be spent here.
The holiday season can just be a very, very stressful time of year. I know it is for me. Not only do you have all the parties and the gatherings, but you have like the mid-year stuff for school and all the last minute to-dos for Christmas. And I can get bogged down really easily. I'm hoping that this year... Knowing that about myself, I can give myself a little bit more grace when things get out of control. I can also maybe remove some of the things that I would typically say yes to to allow myself that extra rest time. It's this time of year that I really have to have a game plan if I want to preserve my mental health. In years past, I've made like a no travel policy where we spent the holidays at home and tried to encourage our family to come and visit us, which they have all been very, very gracious to do for me because they love me. And they understand the stress that traveling with three kids and oftentimes all four dogs, yes, we typically take all dogs with us. Um, And so, yeah, they, they just understand that it's more than... More times than not, it's easier for them to come to us. However, this year, I think we are going to mix things up a little bit. We're still in the process of communicating with family members and locking down plans and all that. So we don't have anything scheduled as far as travel. Um, But I think I am going to branch out and maybe, you know, have one little travel weekend in there. Okay, my timer's going off. I want to wipe this down so it's clean for the clothes. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now. It's like they spell your name. It's insane. Now we're back here once again. Holidays and cheers. I have a little cleaning hack when it comes to kettles, water kettles. Well, it's probably not anything mind-blowingly, you know, revolutionary. But if you put a little bit of water and vinegar at the bottom, it will descale it for you. We have really hard water here in Texas. And that little trick, I just do that and rinse it out. And I don't even have to scrub. It just is, comes out clean as a whistle. Okay, we're going to appreciate the clean island for the 30 seconds it's going to be clean. Let's take a moment. I heard the dryer go off, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the first load out and get another load into the wash. It's the holidays. The laundry is bound to pile up. I try not to stress about it, even though this is a very, very overwhelming pile for me. And knowing that, like, the laundry basket in my room is overflowing. The kids have their baskets overflowing. And there is nowhere to put it in here. But you know what? We do a few loads a day. We chip away at it. I have learned I cannot marathon do laundry. I will get burnt out and it will only get worse. So I limit myself to usually a max of three loads a day unless I'm feeling particularly energetic and we just chip away at it. As I was pulling this load out of the laundry, I realized it was all girl laundry. It actually works out pretty well because they keep their dirty clothes upstairs And then I just call them down and have them throw in their laundry. I'll usually run it through the cycles for them. And then when it comes out, I just have them sort and take it back upstairs. So I didn't end up having to do that first load. I had Ella do that off screen. So this is actually the second load already ready to fold. I did have a little bit of a break in between. 
And in case you're wondering what those three gray bins are, they're actually my kids' clean clothes bins. So Eric's I tend to fold for the most part because I'm the one that ends up folding and he helps me put away anyway. And then the other two are the girls. I typically just toss their clothes in and they fold when they take it upstairs. For my other friends who struggle during the holiday season with mental health, let me know your survivor tips in the comment section below. You know, this, sometimes it's just easier hearing from somebody else that it's okay to say no, right? It's okay not to make every day magical in the holiday season. It's okay to be picky with the service projects you choose to be a part of. It's okay to be picky with the fun projects you want to be a part of. Um, I highly encourage you not to say yes to everything. Pick one or two things and then allow yourself the quiet time to rest and reflect on the season and the end of the year. You know, make space for yourself to recover in between. Uh, that's one thing that I struggle with. I will probably have a very hard time um, okaying for myself. <laughs> um, so you're not alone out there, but... You know, sometimes it's nice to have permission for someone else. So let me be your your auntie, your big sis, letting you know it's okay. It's okay to keep it simple. That's time on that. Well, it's not perfect, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. The goal was to reset and kind of gain back control. Here's what the laundry is looking like. We, we put a little dent into it. I will be working on that probably over the next couple of days alongside my family members who will be helping me fold and put away. We were able to do quick 10 minute declutter and clean in all the spaces I wanted to get to today. So that feels really, really good. I'm gonna count today as a win. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, go say something kind to yourself and we will see you in the next one.